Hey, what's going on, Aries? Bush Terrell here. I'm going to do your November read. Uh, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I'm going to be using the Crow Tarot. And with all that being said, let's get it. Here's what we have for Aries. November 30s. So the first thing I see that is I feel like the person, you know, the energy coming towards you is someone you already know. You know, I feel like this is someone that you may already be friends with or have some kind of association with. Um, we have the Six of Cups and we also have the Three of Cups. You know, I feel like this is someone that... I feel like you already have some sort of connection with, but I feel like the connection, you know, I, I, I feel like with this person, I feel like this person challenges you. And I feel like you challenge them. You know, but I feel like there's also very chaotic energy between the two of you at, at sometimes, but you both keep coming back together. You know, and I feel like a lot of this chaos is because there's something else going on between the two of you that nobody's really talking about. You know, I feel like this person has your back. You know, I feel like this is very protective of you. But I feel like there's, you may not be what's, you may not be seeing what's right in front of you with that two of swords. I feel like what you're not seeing is this person not only thinks about only you, but I feel like this person knows exactly what they want from you. You know, I feel like we haven't taken the step that we need to take with this person. I feel like this person wants to be with you. I don't feel like, you know, I, I feel like, like I said, I feel like it's more of a friendship right now. But I feel like this person wants more. You have the two, two of cups. I feel like they want to be with you. And I feel like. Like I said, I, I've said this before, um, sometimes when we have that chaotic energy with someone, it's because the passion that we want to show them isn't coming out the way we want to show them, so it comes out in a different way. You know, I feel like this person, I'm not going to bullshit you, I feel like, I mean, we have the king and the queen of wands. <laughs> You know, I feel like you're both very confident. And I feel like you both... You know, there, there's, there's times when you both don't really like the idea of being wrong. So it's that's part of the challenge that you guys challenge each other. I mean, I feel like... You have this connection where if you're right, you're right. You know what I mean? Like, it's like nobody can tell you otherwise. And I feel like both of you frustrate each other sometimes with that. And I feel like it is that chaotic energy. But I feel like, like I said, that chaotic energy is, is just built up passion coming out in the wrong way. You know, I a lot of, a lot of uh, clashing, a lot of conflict you have with this person. But even though all that being said... You're still there for each other. 
you know, I feel like you, you know, I, I feel like this person spends a lot of time in their head because they know what they want. Like I said, with that two of wands, they know what they want from you. They want to be with you. And I feel like at times it feels like a risk for them. You know, it feels like because of the fact that you have this passionate quar uh, quarrels once in a while or, you know, these arguments challenging each other, I, I feel like they've never really met anyone like you and I don't feel like you've ever met anybody like this person. But I feel like there's something else going on that we need to address because as long as we're standing our ground, it's not getting any, it's not going anywhere. You know, with that seven of wands, this person thinks about you and only you. You know, I feel like this person is very honest with you and I feel like you're very honest with them. And I feel like that's something we need to really look at. You know, I feel like you're, you know, honest, very honest with each other. And I feel like that sometimes can clash. I mean, sometimes we meet someone that, you know, in life, I'm a Sagittarius sun, moon, and a Leo rising. So I know a little bit about fire. You know, sometimes we're just looking for that person that completes us. We're looking for that person that can handle it and not look too deeply into it. Someone that gives us balance. I feel like you give each other balance. But to get on to what's going on here is I feel like You know, I I feel like this person has a lot of late nights, a lot of anxiety because they want something more from this. And I feel like they're afraid that if they don't do something soon, they're going to regret it. You know, because obviously somebody else is going to see what they see. And they don't want to lose that. So I do feel like there is a step being made forward here. Now, I, I, I do feel like the, the connection you have there's going to be some very spontaneous energy coming, you know, very flirtatious. And I feel like it's, we're about to cross a line that we haven't crossed before, but I feel like once we cross it, I feel like everything's going to start falling into place the way it should. A lot of quick moving energy. You know, once we start nurturing this the way it needed to be nurtured, I feel like we're going to see the true nature of what this is. You know, with that star card, nurturing this connection. And I feel like through action and communication, I feel like we're going to get to where we want to go. Like I said, I feel like you, you may not see this coming, but once it starts moving forward, it's like a ball rolling down a hill. It's not going to be stopped. You know, this person is taking that leap of faith. Like I said, they want to be with you and not in the way they've been with you, but in a different way. You know, this person sees you as their partner. They see you as the person they want beside them. They want, they see you as that person they want in that foxhole with them. You know, with the Hierophant, uh, very strong union between the two of you. Like I said, this person spent a lot of time in their head, you know, going over this. It wasn't an easy decision. Because I feel like there, there's always an awkward awkwardness of moving from a friendship to a romantic relationship. You don't want to, you you don't want to screw it up. But also, there's a point when you're just like, okay, well, if I don't, I'm gonna regret it, and that's what I mean with that five of swords. I feel like this person is at the point where they want to be with you. They know what they want from you, and, and they can't let that go anymore. You know, so I feel like there's gonna be spontaneous and when i said spontaneous energy coming i i i feel like this person just gonna act from the heart you know and i feel like we're gonna start to see this picture become a little bit more clear giving ourselves a little more balance you know i do see a lot of forward movement with this like i said taking that leap, the leap of faith beginning the journey um you know, turning that um, challenging, passionate energy that you have between each other, challenging each other, and kind of 
redirecting that passion in more of a physical sense and more of an emotional sense. Seeing things in a different perspective. And I feel like with that, I mean, we have that family card as well. You know, I feel like this person always keeps you on your toes. And I feel like it's vice versa. You know what I mean? I feel like you guys are good for each other. But I feel like as long as we're not seeing it the way it needs to be seen, we won't feel it the way it is supposed to be felt. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Virgo. We have Taurus. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm a true believer. Um, you know, I have, I have a couple friends, and they, uh, I remember in school, they were always at each other's throat. They were always picking at each other and who they dated, and they were always critiquing each other. But the funny thing is, they'd always fight with each other, but they'd always be together. And that's a prime example of what happens when your passion, you know, your feelings and all that get mixed, mashed and, and, and it gets sent off in the wrong direction. You know, but the funny thing with them is I remember they used to fight like cats and dogs. Everybody always thought they were, they always called them the, the old married couple. Um, but they might fight with each other. But when it came to somebody else stepping in, they both have each other's back. You know, and I, I mean, I we we still hang out from from time to time with them. Um, you know, they're married and they have a couple of kids now, and it, it's just funny because they're so passionate about each other. But when we're not directing the passion in the right way, sometimes it comes out in the wrong way. Like I said. Um, you know, they used to fight like cats and dogs. Like, they always be fighting with each other. They'd always be picking at, like, when some, when one of them had started dating somebody, the other person would pick them apart. And, you know, they, it's because the jealousy, you know, they weren't admitting their feelings for each other. So the jealousy was coming out in a, in a very toxic way rather than a productive way. I mean, it's kind of a confusing read, but I, I feel like it is, to its core, confusing. You know, sometimes we want, you know, we meet someone that is a lot like us. And, and the hurdle is getting to know how to gel. Um, you know, sometimes we meet people that are passive, so they back down to us. You know, as a fire sign is what I mean by us. Um, you know, with a fire sign, we need someone that can handle it. We need someone to understand it. We need someone that doesn't take it personal. And I feel like that's the thing that you guys have. Like I said before, you know, you guys may have these arguments or conflicts, but you always seem to come back to each other because it's just, there's something pulling you together. And if we don't look into that, we're never going to figure out what that is. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.